everybody. We'll just have a bit of a 15 minute introduction and then we'll get on to the first talk. So uh, I'll let Stephen do most of the talk on here. He's actually prepared some slides. But I'll just say thank you all for coming. It's very good to see so many people here this year. And uh, we'll, Stephen will run through all of the house details. Uh, but if there's any, anything that we miss, obviously just shout out. Uh, yeah, go on. Go on. Uh, so, like, yeah, back in Munich, uh, I'll show you just a few slides about where you are and what we're doing here. And afterwards, maybe the idea was that maybe each of you short introduces himself um, because there are many new faces, and also I don't know most of the other guys. Um, just so shortly, why you are here. Interesting for us. Um, yeah, the idea I think was many of you are speaking, others are not that just interested, so just to come together with you. Last year was in Cambridge, the year before. Yep. Uh, yeah, and we want to keep everything open, I think. So, like, the first talk will be without slides, if I understand correctly. <laughs> <laughs> a few slides. So, uh, yeah, everything is out there. Whenever you feel that you urge to have a lightning talk in the middle of another presentation, just stand up. So, maybe just told you where we are. So, most of you found it. It's pretty hard on the weekends, maybe, to get in if you don't know where you are. This is uh, the TUM, Technical University of Munich. Technical University of Brooklyn, in fact, we're not allowed to translate. That's a surprise. It's the second largest university in Munich only. Uh, the other one is the LMU, it's more like um, uh, the software stuff, the <laughs> technical stuff. Um, there's 38,000 students, uh, and more like uh, science and engineering, of course, are uh, the, the faculties that we have. And I just wanted to keep it short, in fact, there are just a few fun facts that might be more interesting for the university because it's maybe not only one of the few universities that own a brewery, but it's the it oldest one in the world. And it's like owned by the Technical University of Munich. It's Mike uh, Stefana, it's from 1040, uh, the oldest still running brewery in the world. Uh, and you can actually study at Munich, so if you're maybe a, in a second life, or if you made enough money for a source, you could maybe start brewing in, in Munich. Uh, we have a nuclear reactor that's only for research and uh, nutrient sources, so we don't make power there. Uh, and the most funny thing is it's not in Munich anymore. So this is like the last place that we are here in, like electrical engineering, architects, and business administration. You're still in the city center. If you've ever been to any TUM event of computer science or mechanical engineering, everything's in Gashen already, and we are quite lucky that we're still here, because otherwise you all had a subway trip of 45 minutes, maybe this morning. Uh, out to the airport again. <laughs> so this is where the university is nowadays. And we are in the Department of Electrical Engineering, as I said. This is quite good because we're in the city center. Uh, 43 institutes, 61 professors, and this year we have nine hundred freshmen in three courses like Bachelor of Engineering uh, and like Master Programs in Power Engineering and Communications Engineering. And this is my institute that I work in. The head is Professor Hackersdorf, and uh, we have a second professor plus a postdoc. 14 doctoral candidates in Germany, we are not PhD students, but we are fully employed and work for six years and somehow get a PhD in the end. Uh, yeah, and several projects, I will not go through them. Um, mostly, as you can see, in this multi core thing, we try to make uh, a lot of stuff on the network and chip visualization, for example, um, and in programming modes. And the, in, so my work also is on the interlinking of programming and, and architectures and modern type medical architectures, but I will also present today. Uh, we have some teaching underway, and most important, my short multi core processor lecture that uh, we created last year. Uh, very interesting one. Uh, this is enough of us. If you have any questions regarding Munich, Technical University of Munich, just come to me. Uh, maybe to make a welcome round, and this morning I came to the idea that maybe you can put, if you are an active uh, developer, put your ISC tag, maybe on the badge because uh, I think many people know each other not by name but by, by their IRC name. Uh, yeah. Respect to you, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I think uh, yeah, one of the ideas we came up with was there are a lot of people here that are new to us and you know, new to each other, so uh, we were thinking we'd just go around the room quickly and allow people to kind of introduce themselves and where they're from, and uh, yeah, that's probably, that's probably not. So I'll, um, we'll try and make this quick, so I'll start off. I'm Julius. I, um, I, am, I live in Cambridge at the moment, and I've been working here on this project for a few years now. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I'll say. 
Yeah, uh, I'm Olaf Schingham. Uh, I'm uh, been working on open project since 2010, and I'm working as a FPGA designer uh, consultant. Uh, it's my day job. Yeah, I'm Stefan. I think I already said I'm a PhD, not a doctor candidate, but this institute, and I mostly uh, the research part of this project I have. I'm working on this for a few years now, contributing from time to time. Stefan Christiansson. I work as an embedded software de developer at the company called Espotel in Finland <coughs> and uh, I'm involved in the Open Risk project as a hobbyist and I've been doing that for about three and a half years. Okay, I'm Jeremy Bennett, I run Embercosm which is a British company developing open source compilers, GCC, LLVM and uh, Verilator and I've been involved with Open Risk since 2002. Um, and we have a general interest, we use Open Risk very much as a demonstrator for a lot of our technologies that Plastics design. Um, I'm Simon Cook and I also work for Amcosm and my involvement in Open Risk has been working on the LLVM compilers for the past couple of years, particularly in the area of testing it and resolving bugs. Um, I'm Edward Jones and I'm a new recruit at Amcosm. Um, and Open Risk and LLVM, well, the LLVM tool chain for Open Risk have been my sort of starting project that I've been working on. Um, um, I'm John, I'm working for Amocosm uh, on the GCC and the uh, uh, tools that are connected with it. And uh, I've been working on the Open uh, Risk for a while ago. And, uh, uh, <coughs> I'm, uh, no, David. I'm uh, David Rossi from the University of Bologna and I'm working on a uh, uh, multiprocessor uh, ultra low power platform based on uh, the open risk. Uh, the project started uh, last year and I'm not too sure that the government is doing I'm Antonio Pellini, I'm from uh, ETH Zurich and I'm working on the same project as uh, David. I'm Michele, I'm from the Politecnico di Milano and uh, I started working on OpenRisk uh, at the beginning of this year where, um, uh, where 